Why Mexico Square in Addis Ababa? Have you ever wondered why Mexico Square in Addis Ababa? I have been wondering and made research, and I have been surprised by the result. It is because of amazing historic reason worth knowing. Here it comes. Ethiopia was the only nation in Africa to have never been colonized by a European country. This was because the Ethiopian forces defeated the Italian invading force on Sunday March 1, 1896, near the town of Adwa. The Battle of Adwa was glorious, historic and the foundation of liberation movements across Africa and around the globe. However, the Italians made the second attempt in 1935, when Italian troops entered Ethiopia and occupied the country for the next five years, and this was known as the Second Italo-Ethiopian War. Ethiopian forces attacked the newly arrived invading army and launched a counterattack in December 1935 but their rudimentary armed army could not resist well against the modern weapons of the Italians. However, Ethiopians continu continued fighting and resisting the invaders throughout the occupation period. This said, at the League of Nations, Mexico was one of only five member states to condemn the Italian invasion and occupation of Ethiopia. Unforgettably, because of this, Ethiopia kept its seat in the assembly, and it remained a member of the League. Because Ethiopia's pleas for intervention by the League had fallen on deaf ears, Mexico's representative to the Council of the League of Nations, Marte R. Gomez, made repeated efforts at the League's podium for the case to be resolved through the League's resolutions adopted in late May 1935, and that way, at least formally, Ethiopia would no longer be treated as a colonial incident. If you want to read more about this, I left a link to an article entitled, Mexico, and its defense of Ethiopia at the League of Nations, in the video description. A few years after World War II, diplomatic relations between Ethiopia and Mexico were established in 1949. To commemorate Mexico's assistance to Ethiopia during its occupation by Italy, Ethiopia named a center square in Addis Ababa Mexico Square. On the 22nd of June, 1954, a traffic circle in Mexico City was named Plaza Ethiopia, and in August 1980, a metro station in Mexico City was built and named Metro Ethiopia Station. In 1954, Emperor Hale Selassie became the first ever head of state from an African nation to pay an official visit to Mexico. In 1963, both nations opened embassies in each other's capitals, respectively, however, Mexico closed its embassy in Ethiopia in 1989 due to financial reasons and Ethiopia followed suit in 1990. In 2007, Mexico reopened its embassy in Addis Ababa. In 2010, the Mexican government donated a replica of an Almec colossal head to Ethiopia where it was placed in Mexico Square. In September 2015, the Ethiopian capital inaugurated its light rail system and has a Mexico station. In May 2010, Mexican Minister of Foreign Affairs, Patricia Espinoza, visited Ethiopia with the purpose of promoting issues related to the 16th UN Conference for Climate Change as well as issues of bilateral and regional interest. In July 2010, Ethiopian Prime Minister Mele Zenawi arrived to Cancun to attend the United Nations Climate Change Conference. In June 2012, 
Prime Minister Zanawi again visited Mexico to participate in the G20 summit in Los Cabos. In 2017, Ethiopian Airlines launched cargo services between both nations. In 2019, both nations celebrated 70 years of diplomatic relations. Note, due to the construction of the Addis Ababa light train, the Mexico Square has changed greatly, and one can easily see the difference.